So ferritin is a protein that carries iron. About 30% of the iron in your body is stored as ferritin, and another 60% of the iron in your body is in your red blood cell, is stored as hemoglobin. So most of the iron in the body is in your blood cells, but then 30% of that is fer in, stored as ferritin. But what happens when you're inflamed, your body will increase the amount of ferritin to kind of hoard the iron. So high ferritin basically is an inflammation marker. It's an acute phase reactant, which means that you have some kind of inflammation response. Okay? Now, if you have low ferritin, that means you have low iron storage, typically associated with low iron, like iron deficiency. So we can look at the ferritin along with the iron number, because the iron number on your blood test makes up only 1% of all the iron. So it's actually not the best indicator of overall iron level. So if you just do iron on blood test, you're going to miss it. You have to do iron and ferritin at the same time and look at the relationship and compare it to the red blood cell hemoglobin hematocrit along with other numbers to really get a good sense of what's really happening.